Hey, this episode is about inspiration for recording scratch music. Inspiration information. So uh, Akiko knows, but my main project that I've been working on recently is I'm uh, working on recording a scratch album. And I'll explain what exactly that means and what I'm working on. But um, first, a couple of things that made me want to do this project. Um, first of all, uh, the name of this Scratch Knobs episode is called Inspiration Information. Um, that's kind of an inside joke for you old DJ cats who maybe used to go on the D-Styles message board way back in the day. Uh, it was called Funk Shit Up, and then there was like a section called Inspiration Information, which was before your... No, I just wasn't really active on the forums back in the day. So I'm just curious, how frequent of a visitor were you? Oh, honestly, every fucking day. I mean, <laughs> while, while I was at work, you know? Can just you describe the, just like the health and the uh, um, exchange of the community back then? Uh, that's a whole other fucking story. <laughs> it was really that deep and dark you can't get into it? Uh, there, I mean, there, there's more than I know about, so I don't want to like pretend like I knew everything oh, okay. that went on there. Okay. There's a lot of shit talk, but there's also oh, a, lot of valuable, oh, oh. a lot of valuable information and posts, too. <laughs> so one particular post that I still remember after all these years, it was D himself, uh, D Styles. He posted something to the effect of okay, we're all supposed to be musicians, right? We call the turntable a musical instrument, and we say that we're musicians. So the question he kind of posed in his post was, if that's true, if we're supposed to be musicians, where's the actual music? And he wasn't talking about people battling or scratching at a show, because, you know, obviously that happens all the time, but he was saying more like, you know, this was around the time that Phantasmagoria came out, uh, I think that was 2002 or so. So he was like, well, maybe I'm reading too much into it, but I felt like in that post at the time, he was saying, all right, well, here's my album. Why, why is it so rare that there's a scratch album coming out if so many of us are supposed to be musicians and this is a musical instrument? Where are all the scratch albums? Mm. So I still remember him posting that after all this time. And um, yeah, it's it's kind of a... That's still kind of an inspiration for me that makes me want to make what I consider a scratch album. Hmm. Curious. They um, just, before you go any deep, I'm just like, I'm just kind of sidebar. You could edit any way you want. But it just kind of made me think like the progression of a, a battle DJ or a table list in the community in particular where there's stages and growth, right? We, I think... Most of us get hooked on because it's like the the battle aspect excites us, and we battle. We have a battle career, and then from there, people take different directions. Like, okay, um, if production, I make a production or, or gigging, mobile DJing, right? Or, yeah. And then eventually, you know, if they go in the direction of production, then they go something rich, you know, something richer to creating, you know, albums for themselves and specifically like scratch albums or turntable is expression you know albums in that regard right yeah yeah um and I, I just only bring that up because like um yeah djs just i guess they have their own personal path and how they progress and where they yeah that, that's a good point like basically you're saying you know a lot of us start by battling but then what comes after that right and for a lot of people uh including myself at this time i'm, I'm working on recording music so. awesome um so that was one uh, kind of inspiration from so many years ago that probably D doesn't even remember posting that, but I still remember it. But more recently, um, there's a documentary by Battle Lab that features DJ Excess, among others. And, you know, they're, they're kind of going along the same lines, talking about, well, you know, there's, you know, battling and live performances is one thing, but there's a lot of value in creating actual recorded music. And yeah, I was really inspired by that. Mm. Did you did you watch that one? I think it came out around 
August because I remember I was out of town. I believe I've seen parts of it. I don't think that's yeah. the whole thing yet. <clears throat> so anyway, shout out to D Styles and Excess. Those were, those are, uh, you know, those those were two of my big inspirations for wanting to work on this. When you say work on this, what do you mean? In that segues the... into what I was going to talk okay. about next. Okay. So, for for different people, when they say they're going to record or they want to record a scratch album, I feel like there's so many different avenues that could take, or that could mean so many different things. Like it's like there's this spectrum of scratched music, right? Like if on the one hand, you had songs like Invasion of the Octopus People by Invisible Scratch Pickles. You know that song, right? So, you know, I was saying there's a spectrum. If that's like one extreme side of the spectrum, like every kick, every hi-hat is scratched, right? But on the other side of the spectrum, there's also songs that, you know, there's so many rap songs that just have cutting on the chorus or they, you know, maybe it's mostly just produced, you know, production, an inst a, produ a produced instrumental with cutting on a certain part of it. Premiere. What's that? Premiere. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, that's a good example, like how Premiere cuts the choruses on Gangstar songs. So, starting with that, I feel like, do you see what I mean? Like, there's this spectrum. Like, on the one hand, you can scratch every single noise, or on the other hand, it can be kind of like a regular instrumental album but with just some cuts sprinkled in. yeah i guess to my understanding the first recorded scratch um piece was herbie hancock rocket right or herbie hancock mm -hmm. you know that's the first time i ever saw scratching it was on tv um it was a dst that was performing with Herbie Hancock on his band. I don't know if that was the first actual recorded scratching. That would be a good question. We'd have to look that up. But um, um, We fail. <laughs> <laughs> no, but why'd you bring that up again? No, because it's like thinking of the spectrum. Like that would have been more like early, like oh, yeah, something yeah, rudimentary yeah. and simple. Like that's that would be like the lower end of the spectrum because that's, you know, what's Well, I wasn't, I wasn't actually talking about time. I was talking more about kind of what percentage of the music was comprised by actual scratching. Because in the case of Invasion of the Octopus People, that's like a hundred percent. They're like yeah. cutting the drums. And then on the other hand, you know, maybe there's some DJ Shadow song where it's like a five minute song, but he only cuts for like thirty seconds. So when I was talking about the spectrum well, that's why I brought the, up well both the the I guess Yeah, it kinda counts as both. One thinking, one yeah. rocket was right. really early right. time wise. Mm -hmm. And two, it was I'd say closer to this end right. where, you know, there's a lo whole lot of music going on and only part of it is scratching. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I brought all that up um, to say that, you know, when you hear someone saying, I'm going to record a scratch album like I'm working on, then for a lot of people that can mean different things, right? So for some people, they might be talking about, you know, for example, Cernus, he, he creates these tracks on Instagram. Yeah, where he's cutting, it's, you know, I think his hashtag is all scratched music. And then on the other hand, there's like, we gave examples, DJ Premier, DJ Shadow. So um, I brought all of that up to say, you know, when someone's, <laughs> I already just said this, but when someone says they want, they're recording a scratch album, that could mean anything along that whole spectrum. So I think for me and for anyone else who wants to record a scratch album, you have to decide kind of the first step is to decide where on that spectrum you want to lie does that make sense yes yeah okay so for me personally i mean i'm i'm really into scratching and turntablism but i'm also super in, into production you know like my production influences are people like dj shadow kanye alchemist evidence babu you know so for me personally it's not going to be, I'm not going to do like an all scratched album. It's not going to be like no. Cernus or Invasion of the Octopus People. No. I mean, I love that shit. That shit is dope, but. Not even one track? Yeah, we'll see. Baby. But But for me, like, you know, it's what I create is going to be as much about the non scratching production. So it'll be, it'll, it'll be somewhere in the middle of this spectrum. I'm just curious of the album concept. Not prepared to talk about that yet. I see. Okay. 
as part of kind of my process of researching or thinking about what it is I want to create, I actually went back and I, I created a playlist. If you're on Spotify, check it out. It's called Cut It Up. And the playlist has, you know, time-wise, it has everyone from DST to IQ and everyone in between. And that spectrum I talked about earlier, it has everything from, you know, it has Invasion of the Octopus People that has, you know, it's all scratched. And then on the other hand, there's like a song by Mike Realm where it's mostly, I think he only cuts for like 30 seconds out of a three minute song. So it has both spectrums in their entirety, like old scratching, new scratching, songs made entirely from scratching, songs that only have a little bit of scratching. So anyway, as part of my research to think about what kind of album I wanted to create, I, I went back and just listened to all kinds of scratched music. One thing you'll notice is that, you know, on some of these songs, the scratching isn't super out front. Like, it isn't necessarily a solo. And I think going back to the idea of if turntables are a musical instrument, right? Well, what in what musical instrument is there that only shows up in solos like i think it's important if the turntable is to really be a musical instrument it can't just be all about solos it can't just be all about some freestyle up front well that's why it's jazz baby <laughs> <laughs> no you know what i mean because like there's songs where the guitar, you know, sometimes it's just, it's playing a certain part in a song or a beat, and it's not, it's not just someone guitar soloing all the time. True, but again, that's why it's jazz, <laughs> right? It's a new, new age jazz, it really is. Anyway, just wanted to share with you guys some of my personal inspiration and information, and, um, you know, Maybe it'll get you thinking about like what kind of scratch music do you want to create? Like where on that spectrum do you want to create music? Do you want to be like Cernus or the Pickles where they scratch every single note? Or do you want to be like maybe, you know, I don't know, DJ Shadow where it's like a five minute song with 30, minute, 30 seconds of scratching. Like that whole spectrum is dope. I like all of it. So what I would encourage you to do if you're a scratch artist is you know go back and listen to whatever you consider to be scratch music you know whatever inspires you whatever you think is dope and you know think about if you were to record an album or some music think about where on that spectrum you would want to lie and i feel like that's kind of the first step so again if you're on spotify look for a playlist called cut it cut up it up c-u-t cut it up and um yeah you know get Get back at me. Let me know what what songs should be on there. Did it, did I leave anything super important out? It's it's not meant to include every scratch song ever created, but it's meant to be like a cross section so that you can look at it and kind of be inspired in one of many directions by checking it out. It's the best of best Mike C's collection. Make sure make sure you check it out. Well, that's it for today. In the next episode, we'll uh, we'll take you into the process of actually creating some of this scratch music. All right, peace. Thanks peace. for watching.